Hi, this is Ian from snip to it and I'm here with a quick tutorial to show you how to make a split letter monogram. The method I'm about to show you is easy for Cricut users at any experience level, thanks to the new combined tools in Design Space. In this video, I'll show you how to split a letter to make a monogram, and then use the same techniques to split an image and to make a contoured monogram. Let's get started. Start by opening a new project in Design Space. Use the text tool in the left hand toolbar and add a text block to the canvas. Add your initial and go ahead and resize it to fit your screen. You can adjust the size before you cut it to fit your blank. Open the font selection menu in the top menu bar and select a font for the main initial. You can search for the font by typing in the name or you can browse through Cricut's fonts by clicking on their category buttons. This makes it easy to find a font that matches the style of the monogram you want to make. Next, you can add another text block for the name and select a font. I like to pair a formal serif with an elegant script, but you can mix and match font styles to match your own style. At this point, I add the second text block so I can resize it and get an idea of how much space I'm going to need to cut out of the main initial for the monogram. Line up the two text blocks with the name positioned where you want it over the initial. Next, open the Shapes menu and add a square to the canvas. I usually change the color to make it easier to see what's going on. In the right hand layers menu, move the square shape behind the text block for the name. Now unlock the padlock in the top menu bar and drag the edges of the square to make a rectangle that covers the name text. You want to make sure that the rectangle is tall enough to fit the name and wide enough to cover both edges of the main initial. In the layers menu, select the rectangle and the main initial layer. In the lower corner of the layers menu, Click the Combine tool and then select the Subtract option. The rectangle will be subtracted from the main initial and you'll have a split that fits your name text. This step is optional, but you can create a frame inside the initial. Add another square shape to the canvas and stretch it into a long skinny rectangle. Position this rectangle over the split edge of the main initial and adjust the size until it looks right to you. Use the Align tool to get both the rectangle and the initial centered. When you're satisfied with the size and position of the first rectangle, duplicate it for the second half of the frame. Position the duplicate shape over the second split edge and make any adjustments to the size that you need. Use the Align tool to make sure everything is centered. Before I finish the frame, I want to point out why I prefer using the Subtract tool over the Slice tool for making monograms in Design Space. The big advantage is that you can undo the Subtract tool to fix mistakes without starting the project over. You can see this gap below the frame in the main initial. I don't like that, so I can fix this by selecting the Split Letter layer, opening the Combine tool, and clicking on Undo Subtract. I can reposition the rectangle to cover the gap, then reselect the layers and use the subtract tool. Now I can select both of the rectangle frame shapes and reposition them over the split edges of the initial. Select the main initial and the two skinny rectangles. Then open the combine tool and select unite. Now the split initial and the frame is one layer. Make any size adjustments you need to make to the name text and center it over the initial. Use the Attach tool to link these layers together so they cut as one piece. And the monogram is finished. If you want, you can also leave the layers unattached if you prefer to cut them out of different materials. Now I'll show you how to do the same technique to make a monogram out of a split image. First, open the image library and choose an image. For this demo, I'm going to choose a single layer cut image. Next, open the text tool and type your name. Open the font selection menu and choose the font that matches your monogram. You might find it easier to change the color of the text or the image to make it easier to see any small details when you're creating this monogram. Now you can resize the text to match the width of your image and position it where you want to make the split. Add a square from the shapes menu and position it under the text layer. Unlock the padlock and stretch the edges of the square to make a rectangle that fits under the name. Select the image layer and the rectangle 
and use the subtract function to cut the rectangle out of the image. Now you can attach the text and the image to cut them out of the same color, or you can leave them unattached to cut out of different colors. And now you're done in under a minute. Finally, I'm going to show you how to make a fancy monogram using the subtract tool and the offset tool. Once again, start by adding a text box to your canvas and typing your initial. Select a font from the font menu and add a second text block and type the name. Select a font for the name as well. Resize the name text and center it over the initial. Select the name text and open the offset tool. Using the preview as a guide, adjust the thickness of the offset until you're happy. Remember to click Apply when you're ready to create the new offset layer. Select the offset layer on the main initial. Open the Combine tool and select the Subtract option. Now, you might have some leftover pieces of the main initial that you want to clean up. Select the initial and open the Combine tool, then select the Merge Layers option. This makes the subtraction permanent, so it can't be edited again. Before you merge, make a duplicate and set it aside in case you need to fix a mistake down the road. Click the Contour tool in the lower right-hand corner of Design Space to remove any bits of the graphic that you want to remove from the final design. When the Contour tool opens, click the areas you want to remove or highlight them in the list on the right-hand side. And now the design is finished. You can attach the initials and the name to cut them out of the same material, or you can cut them separately. Making split monograms is easy using the new Combine tool in Design Space. You can easily make adjustments to your design, and you can use it along with the offset and contour features to make wonderful monograms for yourself and everyone in your life. If you're looking for more ideas for monograms, check out my blog at sniptoit.com. You'll find projects, graphics, and more tutorials that I hope will help you on your crafting journey. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified when we add more videos.